Here to show us how to make the juiciest DIY tie-dye watermelon yeah. towels that everyone wants to have this so summer fun. is Orly Shani. Yes! yes. 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 I love that I've got the most fun group right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> this would be such a talking point on the beach. Oh. I mean, talk about a showstopper. I can't. Can I just confess that for the last 20 minutes, I've been sitting here taking selfies with oh, this as a backdrop. Course, like, it's so, <laughs> it's so cute. The colors are so much fun. It so is a standout, fun. and it's incredibly easy to make. I did all of them, what? yeah, this morning. I mean, super, super fast. Okay, so, so what, what, what did you come up with this? Yeah. I, I mean, watermelons are quintessential summer. It's Memorial yeah. Day show. This is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of towel would work the best? Oh, yeah. So you really need to make sure that you have a cotton towel. So sometimes you'll see when you look for them, like fleece, it'll say cotton fleece. You just really need cotton. That's what absorbs the dye the best. You don't need to do a lot of the processes you need to do when it's not 100% cotton. But it needs okay. to be 100% white. It also works white, as white. a flag. It also, well. yes, yeah. let it blow the wind. And um, selfie backdrop. Yeah, yeah, white, yeah, yeah, yeah and a selfie backdrop. Purposes. So you actually got started in these a little bit early. I did, I did. So let's take a look. So I grabbed um, a couple of white beach towels and got my dye here. This is Rit dye. We just got red and green. And you're going to pour about, you know, you're going to follow the directions on your towel, but it's okay if it's slightly diluted because we want kind of that pink color. Yeah. So now I just dipped my towel in and I held on to the top quarter of it and my hand gave me a guide of where I didn't want to go beyond. That's what I'm gonna dye green. So I just, you can see there, I pushed it and even when it's uneven, it's still really pretty. It still yeah, looks really I nice, like it that, that slightly tie-dyed version. Did you use this I, I hung your hand didn't get yes, wet? Yes, exactly. So I hung it and let it dry. Once it dried, I flipped it over and I did the same thing with the green side. So I added a light green first, oh. let that drip. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes. Then I added a darker green. No. Like I added a little bit more green to the bucket. Ombre, Ooh. you ombre. Ombre, is that what you were doing on purpose? Yes, yeah, so let me explain that because we, we didn't see the end of that. So. So the first one I did, I did a splash of green so uh -huh. that it would have that limey color. I mm -hmm. dipped it. Then I wrung it out a little bit and I added like double the amount of green and dipped oh. just the end because watermelon has that dark yes, green. Yes, of course. Yeah. You can so see cute. here, it's really slight. Orly. I could have gone even more intense yeah. if I wanted. It's like the rind. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yes. exactly. Okay. So you kind of can get a, a, a slightly tie-dye effect. Now you can see the difference between this one and the horizontal one oh. hanging there. When you do it horizontally, you're gonna be dipping as well, but you're actually gathering up the fabric. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like that. Like yeah. it's gonna More look tie-dye tie -dye because yeah. it's it's a really wide right. you know, section of yeah. fabric that you're scrunching in. So when you dip it down that way, it's gonna get more of a tie-dye effect mm -hmm. where this was more of a straight. Let me ask you this. Yeah. What if you, okay, so you do it, you let it dry. Yeah. But you air dry, correct? Yep, air dry. What if I decide I want it to be more, um, vibrant. Can I go back and do some more? Sure. And oh, it'll yeah, still yeah. get it'll get brighter and brighter each time it'll you get, do it. Well, you could add more. So I only did half a bottle of the red and a quarter of the green. So I could have just added more red in or added more green in and gone in and continued to dye it. I love Once you get a color so saturation cute. that you like, you're going to put it in the wash. Okay. You are going to lose a little bit of color naturally from the wash, but mm -hmm. once that is out, then that's your color. It will no longer mm -hmm. bleed. It is now color safe. Okay. Now we add our seeds. We add our yep. seeds after you wash. How do we yes. do that? Okay. You add the seeds. Okay. Now, actually, why don't you tell them how you were at yes, Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Let's hear it. Tell them. What happened? Can't get away with anything. Uh, All right. Sorry. Tell the story. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can see, but right oh, in the middle Lord. there, do you see that dark smush? Aye, aye, aye. Okay. I had the genius idea. Why not? Of taking a paintbrush what? and just painting every single seed. And our props department, Summer, looks at me and she's like, you're special, why don't we make a stamp? <laughs> so that's what we did, and it's so super easy. This is because just, otherwise you would be here for the next for three yeah, days yeah, seeding hours. your watermelon. See you guys next weekend. So here is just thick foam core. I drew with a Sharpie the shape of what I thought a seed would look like. Mm -hmm. I cut it out, I used it as a guide to cut a second and a third. That way we could make it just nice and thick. See that, so it's just three layers of this oh. foam core cut identically, and now I've got a stamp. We adhered it with a little bit of glue to some craft wood, so but you if don't you get, just have yeah. like mm -hmm. a more foam core or, or you know anything hard you can use. Now we took a little roller and some paint, and I'm just gonna roll it on. You don't wanna use too much paint, so we oh, wipe off the edges if you get that. And now, I'm gonna come right here. Wait, don't. Should we move this stuff? I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> and now just push. Orly. 
Oh, him! Oh, this is amazing. amazing. So so okay. Now, oh, you can see also that there's a couple different ways you can do it. Like this, this yeah. these seeds are straight it. across. Yeah, mm -hmm. This one is more of a, you know, yeah. sort of following like a... Uh, watermelon moon. would be, and yeah. that one is just one row. So yeah. whether they're super spaced out, really condensed, curved, that's kind of your own style. Okay, back, fun with it. Yeah, back exactly. to this again. Now, oh. we've washed it, we've set it, so it's not going to bleed anymore. Now you're putting more paint on it. Oh, How right. are we going to keep from these washing on, on everything? So you want to use fabric paint for this, and then you want to heat set it. Any fabric paint that you buy will give you the directions of how you want to heat set it. Generally, oh. it's put a protective cloth in between so that you don't get paint on your iron because sometimes the heat will lift it put a protective cloth once it's dry 20 seconds oh, okay pick it up go on to the next one 20 seconds Easy. not only does that make it super soft to the touch it actually really softens fabric paint oh this makes me nervous i know i want this to make me mind. very okay, nervous kim. i can dry <laughs> it like you. yeah exactly you it. right ali oh, that's perfect. okay let's see let's see kim oh, let's see. Wait, wait, the, the edges is oh, just right. there you go. Get the edge. <laughs> okay there we go this is so exciting there we go i'm so excited i'm a diyer you're a diyer let's see it quick I shouldn't do it upside down. No. Right? Okay, no. there you go. Yep. There you go. There you go. Try to set it up between these two. Okay. Oh, no, Orly, let's 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 sorry. I, I micromanage my DIY. Here we go, Dooley. Do it. Roll that drum. Ah! <laughs> Kim, <laughs> Kim tested. Can Kim tested other and approved. Towels? Like, can I wash this? Not with my white towels, for sure. No, other, don't. Like... But you can wash just with your bright colors. Okay. Once you've done the original I'm wash so of the dye, oh, then you one. add your, your seeds and heat set that. It's ready to go. You don't need it's to wash gorgeous. it. You don't need to wash it after the seeds. You can take it to your party that night. Right. Then from then on out, wash with your bright colors. Everything is now heat set and color. And safe. it's just gonna fade as any other towel you have would yes. fade How naturally. Much? It's a twenty dollars and under for this sure. Is and so I have these cute. bright white beach towels on Amazon, so oh. you can get them because you. Need, it's hard to kind of find yeah. white beach towels actually. Yeah. You're gonna be yeah. the coolest at the beach. These are yes. so Tell me about cute. It. Yes. And a new backdrop as well. 